How's this Kushner story playing out there now that Trump has returned to the United States? Well, I don't expect um, uh, the you know president to you know remove or sideline Kushner unless he's absolutely forced to. Um, there are few people in the White House uh, who are as loyal and know the president as long as Kushner. Um, actually, there's no one in the White House, I should say, who has, is as loyal and who knows the president as well. I guess aside from his daughter, who sort of has a, um, an official, but not as a high profile role as Kushner. So he's very valuable to the president. Um, he does play a very big role in the White House, um, sort of you know, as the eyes and ears and the voice of the president, and sometimes he's sort of seen as the honest broker between a lot of countries and the White House. So he's valuable, he's trusted, and he's loyal. So I suspect my that how this will play out is that, you know, Trump will defend him to the end. And if there's going to be any changes in his role, it's going to be because he's forced to because the investigation around um, Kushner has become such a distraction or a liability to the administration if it plays out that way. Shannon, the big geopolitical story today is North Korea launching this ballistic missile. Any reaction from the White House? I mean, clearly this is an action from a country that uh, is defying the pledge made by G7 ministers just a couple of days ago in Sicily. Um, I think, like, it's been interesting to watch the relationship, you know, the U.S. try and figure out what its relationship and its policy is going to be to North Korea, as I think every administration has for, you know, years and years and years now. Um, you know, uh, the they've sort of tried a hostile tactic. They've tried sort of tried a, you know, the president made some remarks. This sort of Kim Jong-un was a young man and a lot of power, and he would be open to talking to him. So I still don't think they've figured out themselves how that or what their policy or how their stance towards North Korea is going to be. I believe they said they were, you know, monitoring this and watching this. But it's just one of those reminders too that um, you know they were in the Middle East and you know trying to focus on issues in the Middle East. But North Korea is not going away. And in some respects, you know, not to downplay the seriousness of the. the conflict in the Middle East, but you know, North Korea you know, poses a much bigger threat to them that I think it's, um, Kim Jong-un is demanding their attention.